In this video, I document the experience of cycling a new aquarium, which means letting colonies of good bacteria establish that will convert harmful compounds into less harmful compounds through the nitrogen cycle. There are many ways to cycle a tank, but it's important to do this before adding fish. First, I added substrate, live plants, and a heater, then dechlorinated the water and added that to the tank. I then introduced ammonia in the form of pure ammonium chloride. Ammonia is very toxic for fish, but it's necessary for starting the nitrogen cycle. Ammonia occurs naturally through uneaten food, decaying organic matter, and fish waste. Since we've just added ammonia, we have a food source for beneficial bacteria, and the bacteria will start to multiply. Delicious. On day three, I tested the water, which showed ammonia levels were increasing. When bacteria consume ammonia, they create a byproduct, which is called nitrite. Nitrite is slightly less toxic than ammonia, but still harmful for fish. Nitrite is a food source for another type of bacteria, and now that nitrite is present, they will start to multiply. There's a lot to eat here, guys. By day 15, ammonia and nitrite levels are increasing. When bacteria consume nitrite, they produce a byproduct called nitrate. Nitrate is safe for fish in low amounts. By day 24, ammonia is decreasing, nitrite is still increasing, and now nitrate levels are rising. By day 32, ammonia has gone down to zero, nitrite is decreasing, and nitrate is increasing. And by day 42, ammonia and nitrite have gone down to zero, and nitrate is still rising. Live plants absorb nitrates and nitrogen compounds, and water changes remove excess nitrates. On day 44, there's no ammonia, no nitrite, and nitrate levels are low. We can consider this cycled. The difference between adding a fish to a cycled versus uncycled tank is that in the cycled tank, there are beneficial bacteria colonies established that will serve as natural filtration. Now when you add a fish, its waste and uneaten food will break down into ammonia. Bacteria converts this to nitrite, and other bacteria will convert the nitrite into nitrate. And it will be a continued cycle. There's enough bacteria present that toxins like ammonia will be converted quickly rather than building up to harmful concentrations. Something to note is that the bacteria don't live in the water column. They live on surfaces like gravel, rocks, plants, decorations, and a lot of the bacteria actually live in the filter. Also keep in mind that every creature produces its own waste which adds to the bio load, meaning you may have enough bacteria established to handle the waste of one fish, but not yet that of 10. This was a very basic overview and there are many ways to cycle a tank, so the timeline and water parameters will vary, but I hope this provides a good visual representation of what's going on during the process. Please share your own experiences or any tips that you have on cycling aquariums. Thank you.